So for our first Biomutant build, I'm going to show you how you can float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. This build is basically for any of you ranged homies out there that think melee is too scary and you don't want to get close to enemies. So let's go. Be sure to do all those good YouTube things like subscribe, dislike, all of that stuff, you know how it goes. For this build, our focus is obviously going to be on ranged, however, we're focusing specifically on non-automatic rifles. We are using the Dead Eye class specifically because this has a really good perk base for non-automatic rifles like sharpshooter, two-handed guns deal double damage, and crackshot, non-automatic rifles deal an extra 20% more attack damage. You also get perfect reload as a dead eye, so your ranged weapons can instantly be reloaded, your next magazine is granted an extra 20% damage. You should be using this as often as possible to get used to the timing on perfect reload. Once you get down to your last couple of bullets, you'll see a little option next to your ammo count for Xbox players, it's RB, it'll be whatever button you have it bound to. When you press this, you'll instantly reload your clip, and the next clip will do extra damage. I'm also using a levitate a lot throughout this build because you can get a good amount of distance from enemies. A lot of the enemies you come across are going to be melee focused so when you're in the air away from them they're basically just going to throw rocks at you and it doesn't really do a whole lot of damage. It's a good way to avoid enemies, avoid their stuns and their staggers and just deal damage from above and rain death down on them. That is what I mean by float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Now let's get into breed and class. Your breed doesn't really matter. As you can't buff your range damage directly via an attribute, there isn't really a key breed you should be picking from here. I personally recommend Primal for the slight increase to critical hit chance, or the Murgle which has solid stats all around plus a slight edge in loot chance as well. When mutating, I don't think it's necessary for you to focus on anything specific as you can't focus on luck. I would maybe put an extra little bit towards strength just to give you some extra health and armor, especially in the early days if you're playing on hard can be a little bit difficult until this build really comes together. Our class here is going to be the Deadeye. We're going to be using all of the Deadeye perks except for one which I'll get into and they're very easily outclassed by the Commando. The Commando is the other ranged class. This Deadeye build and the Deadeye in general just outclasses the Commando with its perks being so heavily focused on using rifles which is odd because the Commando starts with a rifle and the Deadeye starts with a pistol. But anyway... When choosing attributes as you level, your main priority should be on luck. The loot chance is a great benefit, but the main focus here is on the critical chance buff. This is what you're focusing on. With the gear and putting points into luck, you can get to a point where you can crit pretty much on every bullet or every second bullet. It's kind of ridiculous. In the early stages of the game, when you do have to do some melee, you may want to put a little bit of points into your health just so you can take a bit of a hit. But as you get further, you can really just put points into luck and go ham in that section. I also toyed with the idea of buffing agility for movement speed, but the boost you get here is so negligible, you can't even really notice it, especially when you get access to levitate, you can just avoid enemies all the time anyway, so it doesn't matter if you can move slightly faster. There is only really two wufu that you need for this build, Unstoppable Duck and Cursed Beaver. Alternating between these two throughout combat is the key focus, and then once you have activated Super Wufu, you just use the Max Pain attack and you just just melt enemies away and it's kind of hilarious how easy it is. Perks is where this build really comes together and with Deadeye you get access to perfect reload just from the start of the game. I won't cover what this does again but if you do go with another class you can get this perk as it is just a general perk in the other class lines. For class perks which is what you should focus on first, crack shot to increase non-automatic rifles damage by 20% and sniper so non-automatic rifles have an extra 10% crit chance are really good perks as well as sharpshooter. Sharpshooter is kind of possibly the best perk in the game. I haven't tested it yet, but being that two-handed guns deals double damage, that just sounds ridiculous. So if you have a two-handed gun, like a non-automatic rifle, this is pretty much what you should be focusing on. There is a couple of general perks that you need to pick up as well. Gunsmith, so ranged weapons have their attack damage increased by 15%. Trigger tech, so ranged weapons have their reload time reduced by 33%. This is less important as we're going to be perfectly reloading, although if you do mess it up, it's always good to have a lower reload time. And clip tech, so ranged weapons can fire 25% more shots before needing to reload again. That is really valuable if you do trigger a perfect reload. You get more bullets with that extra damage increase, it's just good time all around. 
One of the good things about this build is that you won't be using a lot of Psy or Mutation abilities. So if you do choose to play around with these, you've got the free reign to use whatever you like. There has been a few that I have toyed with. I originally played around with things like Freeze or Blink or Blaze, but they just don't really add much value to this build, especially when you're just kind of going to be peppering people from a distance. The only real ability that I found to actually benefit this build by a huge amount is Levitate. Levitate gives Gives you that perfect mix of being able to float, stay away from enemies, avoid damage, which is a key issue when you are trying to spam ranged attack and you can just rain death down on enemies. It's kind of a lot of fun as well. The only downside is that you won't be able to use your super wufu or your wufu abilities while you are in the air. So you won't be able to trigger super wufu or actually use the wufu abilities to get super wufu. There's a lot of wufus in that sentence. You can cancel levitate by using the abilities again or jumping, which you can then jump into an unstoppable duck which I've done a couple of times you get a good amount of damage from an unstoppable duck you can do this and then just immediately levitate again to avoid enemies you are free really to just play around with the psi and mutations as you please other than using levitate I would say but there isn't really a great benefit to any of these as a lot of them are channel or cast specific so you can't shoot your main rifle while you're using them levitate is kind of an exception to the rule there the hard thing about biomune is that all of the gear or at least most of the gear is random drop so I can't really tell you this is exactly the gun you need or the armor you need what i can tell you though is that for your armor focus on buffing your crit chance with the add-ons and the pieces that you put on this is the key thing you need to focus on make sure you do have something that has at least a decent armor value as well especially if you are playing on hard avoid gear that has energy regen or key energy because there's not really relevant to this build it's only going to buff your levitate so it's not really valuable having something in health and crit chance and a decent armor value they're the three things you should focus on for the gear itself. Make sure you're modding your gear and putting add-ons on gear and taking off add-ons off old pieces of gear when you are switching gear. I forget to do that all of the time. Weapon-wise, anything in the rifle category is what you want. Personally, I've been using a burst fire base type that shoots an extra bullet every shot. Don't worry too much about your magazine size when you are crafting weapons. Probably the lower your magazine size is, if it does a higher amount of damage, doesn't really matter because if you trigger perfect reload, you're going to have a very little downtime anyway plus the extra damage you get from it as well so it's a good time all around really you just need to find what feels good for you personally and a good base type and always play around with trying different ones you can even in the middle of combat just change the base type in your gun give it a crack and see how it goes and then change it back there's no downside to that at all some other things to point out is that you should be checking vendors often to see if they have better add-ons for your gear than you already have especially for guns most of the best base types are actually from vendors from what i found because you can at least then you know what you're getting whereas if you're just looting it's just random drops so it's a good idea to check vendors see what they have they will often have better base types than what you're using otherwise don't be afraid to splice in some melee every now and again especially if you are using a weapon that has a element base type use a weapon with the same element on it so if you've got a fire weapon use a fire belly weapon so then you can trigger the effects more often i found a lot that using something like an ice weapon helps me limit the amount of enemies that are coming at me directly because i can freeze them Using the elements where possible is a really valuable thing to do. I'm currently running an electric bat and just my burst fire base type gun and I'm just having a grand old time as I play through this game. Make sure you check out my tips video for Biomune. I have 30 tips for you guys that are all super valuable and I highly recommend you watch that video. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram and on Twitch where I stream two days a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, Australian night times. Hope to see you guys there in the next stream. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Norza and I hope you have a great day.